here cutting fabric for my color groups in the planetarium quilt pattern. For color group one, I need template B. I need my half yard cuts of four fabric, four different fabrics. Um, I'm gonna get my regular six by 24 inch quilting ruler. I have a rotary cutter and I'm, I'm going to use this marking tool. I feel pretty comfortable cutting four fabrics at a time if they're stacked and every, uh, every fabric in color group one is cut the same. So I know if I stack them, um, I'm good. One thing I just want to make sure is that all of my prints are facing the same direction. Okay. And that's going to be right side up. So I just have one print in color group one, but when you see me cut color group two and three, I'll have, I'll have multiple prints. Okay, so the first thing I need to cut is just basic rectangles and squares. Now, if you've made a quilt before, you probably know how to do this. The best way to do that is to fold your fabric in half, just like this, lining up selvages. I'm gonna give myself a flat edge anyway. And um, I have the fold of the fabric up here. I have this right here. When I cut my templates, I am going to line it all up just like the uh, cutting chart in the, in the pattern. Um, but for now, because I'm gonna start off moving left to right, uh, mostly because I'm a righty, um, I'm gonna cut myself two straight edges and then I'm gonna cut those rectangles first. My fabric could probably use a little press, but it's pressed well enough for, for accurate cutting. Okay, so I'm going to take, you know what, just so I, because I, I'm going to rotate this so I can cut away from myself. And then I'm going to rotate it back. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a nice clean edge here on this side. Now, because it's folded in half, I'm now cutting through eight layers of fabric. That's a little bit hefty, but I can do it. I'm super strong. Okay, I'm gonna line up the horizontal guide mark on my ruler with the fold of the fabric. I'm gonna make sure my cut is perpendicular and then I'm gonna go for it. Making sure I get all the edges of the fabric. All four, yeah. I think I could push you over even more. Are you lined up? I think you're looking pretty good. Let's do it. Don't mind my head. There we go. Throw you out of the way. I'm gonna rotate this one more time this way so I can once again cut away from myself, give myself a nice clean edge right here. Lining up again, the horizontal mark on my ruler, making sure I get all layers of my fabric. Whoop. Hey, mister. You know what, if I'm gonna be honest, it's probably time to change my rotary cutter blade. Ugh. But I'm gonna get through this tutorial <laughs> with a quasi sharp rotary blade. Okay, so now I have two straight edges. Okay, I have one on my left and one on the bottom. So I'm ready to cut 10 and a half by seven and a half inch rectangles. 10 and a half is gonna go this way. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do, because my ruler is only six inches, I have a ruler that's wider, but a lot of you don't, so let's just, let's just see what it looks like without a wide ruler. If I just have this one ruler, I'm gonna line up 10 and a half right here, and I'm gonna mark on my fabric. I'm just gonna use my, my uh, water-soluble marker quite a bit in this tutorial, just so you can see that with really minimal um, rulers, you can still cut really big cuts. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm still getting that accurate 10 and a half. I don't have to connect every single one of these guide marks because my ruler is gonna do that. Okay, do you see right here? So now I can just line you up. Close you up. And people ask me uh, a lot about my water soluble marker because I use it for quilting too. And <laughs> this one's just really cheap. I think it was $3. I got it online. Um, I, would, I would think that most work well. Just always test 
So by testing, you do a little mark, you see if it actually does come out with water, then put it under heat, make sure it doesn't come back under heat. That has happened before. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my first cut. Let's see how, you know what, for safety, safety, I'm just gonna do one more, because I already know my blade isn't super sharp. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. Now for the throw, I just need four. 10 and a half by seven and a half. But I'm gonna continue to cut away from me. So I'm gonna actually move it this direction. So here's my flat edges on this side. So with my right hand, I can then measure, oh, once again, my ruler's only six inches wide. So I have to mark seven and a half. I choose to do this rather than using the guide marks on my mat. One, because that's how I was taught. And two, I have learned that over time, cutting mats warp and the grid on them warps. Um, so it's not always accurate to use your cutting mat. Okay, so we have seven and a half. I was talking while I was doing that. That was seven and a half, right? Yep, okay. Whoop, whoop. All right, now I'm gonna use that line. I'm still gonna make sure horizontal, everything, everything that I can line up with my ruler, I line up. Now these rectangles are gonna turn into fancy quarter moons. It's gonna be really, really fun. Okay, this is the moon part of planetarium. All right, so that, because it's actually eight layers of fabric, um, I'm already halfway finished. Okay, let's measure again one more time. Okay. Great. Okay, so I have four of these. If you don't believe me, here we go. Four, four here, and then four here of each color. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side. So now we need just two squares. We're gonna have some nice, big, chunky scraps. Oh, okay, I just need two four inch squares from each color. Sometimes it's the really easy cuts that I don't think about and I just blow through and cut three and a quarter, you know, four and a quarter in accident. Okay, I'm making sure that's four. One, two, three, four. I love big scrappy chunks of fabric. You can use this for binding later, so hold on to this, okay? So I have a four inch wide strip. Okay, one template B and then one reversed. The reverse really does matter with prints, okay? Because there is a right side and a wrong side, okay? So I'm gonna line up with my template as many pre-cut edges as possible. I have a nice edge here. I have a nice edge here. I'm gonna use my marker just because I know myself and I can be a little bit like, my husband calls me Mr. Magoo, which I do get offended by because with my glasses on, I do see pretty well, but I am a little bit like absent-minded professor where it's just like, hey, have you seen my keys? Have you seen my coat? Have you seen my shoes? I've lost my car. Oh no, <laughs> you know, that's a little bit how I can be. Uh, so, especially when I'm trying to talk. Same okay, so here's my template B. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. So now that I have this, I'm gonna use my ruler. I never, let me just tell you something, I absolutely never take just paper and then cut like this if it's a straight line. Because I will, I'm gonna tell you, like 50% of the time, your rotary cutter is gonna hop that template and get your finger. It's super unsafe, and this is coming from a girl who can be a little willy-nilly with the rules. Okay, so be sure that you're using your ruler when you're cutting these, okay? Another option is vinyl templates, of course. Those are a little bit heftier, and that's great if you're gonna make this pattern a few times. Oh my goodness, I really do need to change my blade. 
Susie. Okay, and this little nubby right here. Come on, little nubby. Let's make sure we're still lining things up. Okay. Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay, got it. Okay, so uh, for two of our fabrics, we have template B right side up. Let's set that aside. Now for this one, make sure our lines are still all nice and lined up. We're gonna take it, we're gonna reverse it, okay? So it is the mirror. This is what we wanna make sure, it's the mirror of each other. That's how it's gonna be sewn. That really matters with prints. Okay, I'm gonna, again, turn it so that I can use this edge, this straight edge right here and I'm gonna draw. You can try to just use the template and draw like this. That's probably fine. Actually, it is fine. And you don't even have to draw the whole thing as long as you know your ruler um, sees guides. You know, like I could do that. You could see that if you can see those well enough. So I just kind of drew some guide marks more or less because that's all a template is. It's just a guide for you to cut. Okay, and once again, we have a nice big, nice big scrap. You can double check yourself. Looks great. Okay, here I am back with color group two. Now color group two just needs two 10 and a half by seven and a half inch rectangles. Um, so what I'm gonna do a little bit differently, because remember, when you're cutting those rectangles, um, it doesn't matter if your fabric is right sides together or wrong sides, whatever, because they are rectangles, right? Um, I'm just gonna give myself that flat edge. I'm trying to do two things at once. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually cut myself off at the bottom uh, those 10 and a half inch rectangles, okay? So I'm gonna make sure I have all of my edges, give myself that, that flat edge. All the way up to the top, yes, ma'am. Okay, here I go. And in this color group, I have a couple prints. So you're gonna see how I'm just always double checking. Double checking everything is facing the right direction. And I'm gonna give myself another flat edge right here at the bottom. Again, let's double check. Am I getting all the, yep, every selvage. And I have my horizontal line right here, yep. Great, off you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut um, my 10 and a half inch square, or rectangle, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna bite, first I'm gonna do uh, a seven and a half inch cut and then I'm gonna trim it from the bottom, and then I can get on with my templates. Yeah? Here we go. So if words coming out of my mouth ever don't make sense, just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, doing two things at once is not my forte. Okay, or maybe it is. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna follow that line. I'm gonna cut you. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this fabric. This is more or less my template fabric. I'm gonna set you off to the side. I'm gonna open you up to make sure that everything is folded properly or uh, facing the right direction. Ten and a half. Now what you'll learn is that there's more than one way to cut something. This is just a way. That works. That is safe. Okay, so now your ten and a half by seven and a half rectangles are cut. You have two of each color. So there's my solid, and here are my lovely prints. Ooh, ooh. These are also from the Evolve collection. These are Tiny Meadow. This is Cone Flower. Okay, I'm gonna set you off to the side. We are finished with you. 
Okay, now because it's template time, I'm gonna open this up so that everything is laying, oh. Oops. <laughs> okay, everything is laying flat and facing up. So now I have all of my prints are facing up, okay? Every single one, no question in my mind. I'm gonna give myself, looks like I need two template Bs and I need two template B reversed. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually, yeah, no, I was, I was right the first time, so sad. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a nice clean edge. And then from this little section of fabric, I can get my three squares that I need to. Now my ruler doesn't go all the way up to the top, but that's okay. I'll just get there when I get there, yeah? Because instead of rotating my fabric, I'm gonna bring in a second ruler. Here we go. Okay, there's another ruler. Now I'm gonna cut this away. So if you look at the cutting diagram, I'm cutting two template Bs, and then I'm gonna flip it and cut two template B reversed. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna draw my lines, just feel more comfortable that way. I can even just draw my guides, right? That's kind of what we learned. Let's see, yep. And then I'm gonna flip this. Template B is still right side up. Here we go. Draw on the guide again. Great. And if you want to know that measurement, so in case you would like to just cut out a rectangle and then, you know, cut it out that way, let's take a little measure. What are you? With these two together, that measures seven and seven eighths. And 13. Cool. I like that nice round number. You probably knew that just from your template. The template probably just says it right there at the top. Okay, so I'm going to cut this diagonal first because bias edges are always kind of finicky, you know. Slice. So here we have one template B. With the momentum of my cut, I was able to continue it straight even past my ruler. So pretty cool. Okay, here we go. So look, these are exactly the same, which is nice, but now I'm gonna take my template and reverse it, okay? This doesn't matter if you're doing only print or only solids because solids are reversible. It does matter if you're using prints. And I'm going to give myself that straight edge because I, I don't know what I did here. I don't even remember. Uh, okay. I'm going to put my ruler like this. Voila. And you know how this goes. You saw me do it once before. Once you cut your two triangles, you're going to cut your squares, your four inch squares out of uh, your excess fabric. And then you're done with color two. And you know, after seeing me do colors, color group one and color group two, you probably don't even need any help with color group three. Right?